Welcome to play session number two, episode two, Divinity Original Sin. Uh, the first time I'm playing through Divinity. If you've missed episode number one, go ahead and check the playlist on the main page of at Grubby Plays. What a wonderful game. I played it for the first time yesterday and I was thinking about it all, all day today. We're still on the tutorial ship. We open up with Fane. Let's get back into it. A creature with an elemental resistance higher than 100. Oh, if you run out of money, barter. Exchange items from your inventory to make up the value of an item that's too expensive. You can move heavy items by increasing your strength. All right. Episode one is going to be on Acrobie Play soon, Gwynblade, if you haven't seen it yet. Episode two, session two, Divinity two. Let's go. All right. We just made it up here. Let's uh, talk to the doggy. The hound paused desperately at his snout. We have it the pet animal it draws trait. Blood from its wet black nose and continues scratching. It draws blood from its wet black nose. Oh no, we want to take the mask off. Shout to the dog, it has to get out of here. The ship is going to sink. Call out to the hound and ask, what's the matter? The dog notices you for the first time and snarls. <sighs> the hairs on its back prickling as it lowers itself into a lunge. It sneezes suddenly and pours at its nose once more. Okay, sneezing is actually dog language for diffusing tension. Oftentimes, if a dog accidentally nabbed you with his teeth during rough play fighting, if it then sneezes, it kind of means, oops, sorry, I didn't mean it. Can't smell. Can't breathe. Too much sauce. Too much. Too much. Please, make it stop. Oh. oh, tell the dog you're not the one who did this. You'd stop it if you could. Ask the dog if its job isn't to hunt sorcerers. Tell it to go find the one who did this. It's best to put the dog out of its misery. Oh, out of its misery. I'm not the one who did this. The dog whines and continues pawing at its nose. No. The only thing we can do is kill it, but I don't want to kill it. Damn. That doesn't bode well. Onwards and upwards. Not long before this thing snaps into splinters. Put the dog out of its misery. No. Maybe it will survive. Oops. Uh, auto sword. Sword by trash. I didn't mean to put that in my pocket. I meant to look into it. <laughs> Alright. Can dogs stay on ships? I guess so, yeah, why not? Dogs can go all kinds of places. I've seen dogs skydiving with their human owners. You know, me in Warcraft 3 advocating for maps uh, not to have you walk into danger. Uh, so I, I, I think Warcraft 3 maps should be designed so that you never walk into danger, like uh, you never walk into creep camps that suddenly aggro you me playing divinity original sin walking through fire and then getting burned i would normally assume that characters would not walk through fire they will path around it but it happens i came here to see warcraft 3 will there be uh oh level one door we can lock pick this I know Warcraft 3 is over, I'm playing uh, Divinity now. Let's put our bony finger inside this door, we can lockpick it. It's only level 1. Oh, there we go. Uh, they're kind of hurt already. Do we talk with them, or do we just straight attack? I think Magisters are bad. A, a sneak attack should be good. Hey, 
Oh. Like a bike race, what was <laughs> I didn't have any grenades. He eyes the collar circling your neck and reaches a uh. hand towards his blade. Thank you, Gorthok. Another sorcerer. The Magister's companion doesn't blink, frozen in place at the sight of you. <laughs> Motion to the destruction around you. What's going on here? What have they seen? What have you seen? Finger your collar. Uh, if you can get this stupid device off of me, uh, I can help you. Draw your weapon and be done with them. Even if I knew I had to rip that thing off, I wouldn't. Some crazy banshee comes screaming through, and now we got void bugs swarming up top. Sorcerer mutiny. Have you ever been to Prague? You should check it out. Oh, nice one. Jo nice joke. Uh, I think Prague was one of the most beautiful cities I've ever visited. I've been there once. Gorgeous. If you ever want to auto attack on an enemy, just use control click. Okay, thanks. He whispers loudly to the other Magister. Don't just cower there, Rix. Take out your blade. Rix grabs his sword, which shakes in the rhythm of his trembling hand. Strength persuasion. We don't have any strength. Arr, that's right. There's a mutiny. And if you want to see your families again, you'll stand down. There is no mutiny. You almost died at this woman's hands. Magister C1 is injured. Uh, go find help. Roll your eyes at these weaklings and draw your weapon. This should be easy. The mutiny ends here. This is my first time playing Argenti. Path is interrupted. Poison blocked by magic armor. Well, he only has two health left. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot I have a bow. He still has 18 physical armor. Fire arrow. I might hit myself a bit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that works. Knockdown arrow. Blocked by physical. Oh, right. Blocked by physical. Oh, we have one action point left. Play dead. <laughs> Will it work? <laughs> Wait, how is he full life again? Uh, it ended the fight and he he regenerated oh shit okay that's how, so that's how that works yeah no combat okay so not a good idea Shields up. We have a poison dart again. I'm almost dead. So, can we play dead again? No. Pin down. He's crippled. We run. Can't reach me. We have poison bottle. We drink it. We're full life again. Good. It's a waste to use it, but I screwed up by playing dead. What is that status effect wet? Fire resistance? Oh, I see. All right.
I can sit on the chair. <laughs> and then I attack the chair. <laughs> what an amazing tactician! I sat down, I shot the chair, and then I threw the chair on him. That's some god gaming. Truly a strategy gamer. All right, finally a crit. Took a while, huh? What's the point of ricochet? Can I hit him multiple times? No, it has to be another target. Five, six damage. And how much is this? How much is my standard attack? Also five to six, I believe. Barrel Mancer, the strongest belt. Yeah, sure. Critical. He's dead. Is the battle not over? Yeah, it is. I am also burning, so there's that. He's really dead. Barrel Mancy actually exists, huh? That's funny. And you thought Rivalon was flat. Tomes. Uh, sword by last picked up. The Source Hunters, valiant though they were, could not have foreseen Brachus's resurrection at the hands of the Cult of the Immaculates. Uh, this is nice, it's, you know, it's fluff. Guess I don't need to pick up every book. A letter finished, but unsent. As I write this letter, we near the Isle. By the time the Isle delivers it, I will be but a day away. I've heeded Alexander's orders, just as you said I should, but I think of Lucian often. Would the Divine have condoned this? Would he have blessed us as we ripped children from their mothers? Can this be the only way? I feel cold, inside and out, of one thing I am certain. Your arms will warm me when I find you again. Let's find Rick's uh, sweet Stefan. And... Tell her the sad news of her husband's passing while bravely fighting. Fifteen gold, ink pot. Shabby letter. The joy. This painting is badly damaged. <laughs> Does this heal us? I don't think so. You managed to make out much of the latest entry. I don't see it. Stained shirt. Poison arrow. Nice. Level one. Wait, we were there just now. Ink pot and quills worth twenty gold. I'm not gonna kill the dog. I'm not gonna kill the dog. Hey, my first bow. 
It's the same. But it's worth 75 gold. How do I leave this ship? The death folk barrels have been locked down in storage. Stay out, you and Rick's both. If anyone starts fooling around there, it'll be the lights out. Oh, I can survive it. Let me see. Oh, we can go through the skull marked door now. Great gods! Something's pounding on the hull. The marking on the door was painted recently, judging from its pungent scent. You recognize the symbol immediately for what it is. A warning of death fog within. You okay. press your palm against the door to open it. Your fingers clack against the wood and you suddenly feel gray. The touch leaves you numb, dull. It doesn't budge. The door groans open, but an ashen shadow clouds your mind. Wow. We can go Death through here. Good thing I'm immune. Still, this means trouble. Instant death for the living. Wow. I wonder how others would get through this. Cracked sword. Log. Oh, it's crafting materials. Wait, how do we get here? What? Let me see. What is the solution here? Ah, here. There's another stairs right here. <sighs> what? Viscous Voidling. What the hell was that tentacle? Poisoned. E ricochet within five meters. This is six meters. This is thirteen. They're too far to ricochet. This doesn't reach myself. How big is the radius on this? 13 meter range a puddle oh good i'm poisoned too okay that works poison arrow oh, wait was that a one-time arrow oh it was that's okay low level items they're gonna come back wait where is he going Flanking. <laughs> oh, because it's a, it's a one gap. He couldn't pass. That's why. Uh, time to ricochet. Oh, cool. Very nice. Do we have high ground advantage? It looks like we should. 
He can't get to me. <laughs> He's just screaming at me. <laughs> oh, we outplayed the AI. That's strategy gaming. Yeah, combat is turn-based. Walking around is not. Oh, look at those tentacles. What the hell is this? I wonder if you die if you walk into this. Surely not. Oops. It doesn't look like we can interact with it. with water barrel oh you can turn off the fire Is there anything to do here? Oh, there could be good loot here. Uh, I wasted some of the water barrels. Huh? What happened to my balloon? Oh, all oh, right. I took it out of the quick cast. Come on, there's gotta be a good reward here. Blinding Radiance Scroll. And, and, and this? I don't know that that did anything. Well, okay. So, the ship got attacked by a Kraken, but... A lifeboat. That means there's still oh. a chance. The ship got attacked by a Kraken, but it's that woman, uh, Wendigo. Oh no! Hold the right. Maybe that one works. It's the Wendigo that did the attack. I don't know if she I summoned the Kraken. That. It won't move! It's too heavy! We need a grown-up! <laughs> Hello! Is it okay if I'm a skeleton? The girl turns to you in a panic. Please, help us I want to take my helmet off, see what happens. But what about everyone else, Trice? We can't just leave them to die. Please, mister, can't you do something? The boy's right. Return to the lower deck and check for survivors. <laughs> oh. Reach for the release of- Oh no, that's like dooming them to death. The boy looks past you. But what about- What about Losa? She has to come. She still hasn't sang for us. Tell them to sit tight. You'll head to the lower deck and check on the survivors. There's no time. We have to go now. All right. I knew it. There's a ladder right there. Trice shivers. Then- All right, all right. Where's the ladder? I can't just let all the other heroes die. 
Where is the ladder? I was ready to leave them until they guilt tripped me, damn it. From the mouth of babes. There's a ladder right there, they said. Where? Is it where I came up from? So I failed, basically. There, This is their little check. They're like, hey, bro. What about all them heroes? Didn't you forget something? Oh, it's next to the boat. Oh, okay. Can you shift click? Let's see. No. The ladder next to the boat. Oh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me turn off that function that zooms in on conversation. We can do our own zoom. Make music louder. I want dialogue a little louder. Music is real good. Is that ambient? Oh, music. Voice master can be a little louder. Dialogue is maxed. Okay. Okay. I thought they were all knocked out. Oh, they woke up. Oh, maybe it was part of the part of the plan. Get yourself up the ladder. There's a wait. Void won't. What? Where? Oh. Yeah, it was meant to go this way. Cool. These beardless bugs would sink the ship on my watch. And that should not be able to drown. Why do we need a boat? Let's just sink and wa walk away. I thought yeah. Was supposed to be scary. Weird, right? Just like Maui from Moana. Maui can do anything but float. Like, really? Like, I thought you could do anything. They who are about to triumph. Yeah. I've faced worse. Void hatchling. Not enough AP. Did he take AP away from me? Looks like it. Nice. He's got 60 health. Uh, it's an easy fight. You don't know how deep the ocean is and then having to walk the entire way under loads of pressure. And that is if the ocean floor is flat. Wow. <laughs> That's the real answer. without me did we forget anyone That's not a normal Kraken. 
This is a supernatural monster. I have plans for you, child. Rise. Hey, some kind of. Is it like Gandalf's Honorable master? Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. High Judge Orivan. We'll kill him someday. Fort Joy Beach. Oh, we still washed the shore of the prison island. Press L to view well, log. That was decidedly unpleasant. Am I the lone survivor? Depending on one's definition of survivor, of course. Junk. Sight range indicator. There are enemies ahead. Press left shift to see the enemy's sight range. When you enter their range, combat will start. Alright. A very sturdy short stick and not as rotten as most of the other sticks around here. Useless to the untrained eye. To the untrained eye. Woken. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn, they made it to shore. <sighs> we became a stone. Can we see the pattern of how we can run? I'm trying to determine the pattern. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Unlucky. Oh shit, I meant to shoot. Oh. I guess we just don't shoot. It was pretty close. Yeah, nice try. Wait, they know me? Oh my god. Blinding radiance. A fiery sphere. Yo, I wasn't in that circle. You guys saw it, I was not in the circle. Poison ignited. Oops. Prepare yourself. Oh, okay, okay. I was a noob tactician. He's a vampire. Heals for fifty percent damage dealt to vitality with direct attacks. Damn. 
Can I use a different weapon suddenly? Oh, I can. And it doesn't cost any action points. Where's my targe? My shield? I thought I had a shield. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it costed one action point? Oh, I see. That's good. Okay, we're gonna win at this rate. I thought these bloody collars were supposed to keep those things at bay. <laughs> Still mildly on fire. So it does cost an action point. That's uh, that's good. I leveled up. Cool. Ah, level two. Cool. Okay. So I can pick uh, two of these of the attributes and one of these and uh, how well they do it and one of this so personality i'll either go persuasion or bartering bartering if the town is near and i can start selling persuasion you know i'll open with persuasion and then i'll go bartering because i think i'm more likely to run into other characters than merchants at this juncture huntsman Damage attacking from high ground. And then there was uh, warfare, physical damage, summoning, scoundrel, necromancer. I, I can go warfare, uh, leadership, grants dodging and resistance bonuses, perseverance, restores magic armor after you recover from frozen or stun and restores physical armor after knockdown. Retribution reflects damage. To your attacker two-handed single-handed ranged range damage dual wielding i will go for range damage then finesse intelligence uh, health memory slots for skills uh, i will go double finesse okay cool full damage all right, all right, all right. Drowned and eaten by a void woken. I wonder in which order. All right, let's move on. giant my word this blasted isle is teeming with them i can hear the animals what's that yes i did see how it made short work actually i feel like everyone service. can probably hear this one Quite right very impressive but that is no reason to trust it giants like that destroyed our forests they are the very reason the great acorn is returning in all its wrath <laughs> what Dear me, have you taken leave of all six of your senses? You would have me use this giant for a shield? Why would I... Oh, I see. You cunning <laughs> devil, Quirkus. Of course. It's only if you have pet pal. Oh, Acorn's cool. Vile servants, it can do so again. Did you know Larian said they couldn't avoid... Uh, they couldn't afford voice acting, then surprised everyone with it on release? What? No way. Larian could not afford. That is a sick. That's sick. Hmm. 
Divinity Original Sin 2 is getting English voice acting ahead of its full release on September 14th. The game's entire cast of roughly 1200 characters and creatures will be fully voiced with more than 74,000 lines of dialogue and over a million words. This massive undertaking, which they previously said would be too difficult to pull off, required the help of roughly 80 different voice actors. Five of the actors are Harry Haddon Patton as the Red Prince, Tamarin Payne, Alex Wilton Regan, Chris Finney, Due to the sheer amount of voice content, they note that players will have to go through the game multiple times in order to hear it all. <laughs> but where's the origin story where they said there won't be? So funny. Not enough right click for butterfly. <laughs> we need only follow in its big, wide shadow and be safe. Wonder what the great acorn is. Laugh and tell him he's quite welcome to follow in your shadow. Ask the squirrel why he accuses of it. Egad! It speaks our tongue, Quirkus! Hush before! What do you mean a good time for introductions? You know full well who I am, you silly old cat. The great Salora, grandest of the... Oh, introduce myself to the giant. <laughs> I shall do no such thing. You give away your trust too easily, my dear steed. No. We will have the giant march. In time, we'll see whether it deserves our confidence. Now, onwards, shield! Venture forth, post haste. The great acorn waits for no one. This this reminds me a lot of... My, the giant takes notice of its charges. This reminds me a lot of Gollum when he lured Frodo and Sam into the spider Shelob's lair. Dear me, it has questions, Quirkus. Hmm? Why, yes, I suppose answering them is the polite thing to do. Speak, shield. What are your queries? A giant body, but no giant brain, eh, Quirkus? Surely even the tall folk know that Rivelon was there before the great acorn fell from above and seeded the Irwood, covering this land in beautiful, perfect forests. Mm, that sounds like mythology that only he believes. Beautiful and perfect until the giant races, no offense, realized they could use it to build their houses and fuel their fires. They carved the Irwood up oh. and the forests shrank oh. and shrank. None of the so it is a wood magical remain. piece of wood that dropped in like an asteroid and actually spread uh, nature and and wildlife, nature plants, and then people started using it. Urwood. The great acorn will fall again. The forests will be reborn and the giant races will be wiped from this world. <clears throat> At least that's what I hear. Oh, Quirkus, it wants answers. <laughs> As if it is the first creature to ponder the big questions of the universe. What tree did the great acorn fall from? Where did that tree come from, if not a greater acorn? Could you build a nest great enough to store the great acorn <laughs> from the winter? Some questions have no answers. Quirkus, why is that so difficult to understand? The great acorn will come. It will destroy the world, and squirrels will reign supreme forever. I fail to see what's so difficult to grasp. What do you say, Quirkus? We once believed it was good, but now... No, quite right. As terrible as the giants have been to us, we do not want to see them wiped out. Maybe because we are a shield against the Void Waken? Rather. We must find a way to live together in peace, giant and squirrel. I disagree. It's quite natural for groups to compete. I quite agree. Peace ought to be the end goal in all matters. Although it would be quite a bit easier to get along if the giants would stop turning our home forests into spears and ships and things, wouldn't it, Quirkus? Perhaps the shield will let them know as much. 
Yeah, I'll let them know. Stop your capitalism at once. This again. Hey. Oh. Okay, let's find the other adventurers. They must be spread out across the island. You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright blood red color. Could he be? Oh, it's my master. <laughs> I subjected myself as his slave, if you remember. Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who's Yeah, the water the looks wonderful. Guys, this is a 2017 game, six years ago. Lovely graphics. Greet him heartily. Hello, I'm so glad you survived the shipwreck. Your slave has come to report for duty. You're the one that took me by the jaw and sized me up like a damn horse. I've got a bone to pick with you. I'm his slave. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer or a duelist. You lock eyes with his two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. And a dutiful servant you are too. The chances are I wouldn't have survived that shipwreck. Had you not returned to the aid of your master down that dreadful hole? I live to serve, master. You have my gratitude. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. I was so glad to be of help, master. It doesn't do to stand idly by when my people are in danger. Yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get carried away, shall we? Nevertheless, one good turn does deserve another, so as far as the whole slave business is concerned... Oh! Let's just forget about it. You may as well have your freedom. Oh, thank you, master. Now then, if there's nothing further... Oh. What are you doing there? Standing on that rock? I'm sure I don't mean to sound condescending, but I had thought it quite self-evident. I was gazing out over the waves. He sighs dramatically. Oh. Tell me, what do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? I see memories. I see childhood days spent in the sun. As of last night, I saw a kraken-infested wasteland I never want to go near again. Touché. He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. I see continents dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. Uh, lost, sire? You've got a rather specific vision there. Why an empire? A shrug and say people see castles in the sky. <laughs> Might as well see them in the sea. <laughs> Why an empire? Of course, it's rather specific. Quite obviously, I'm musing over the very actual empire that I lost. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. <sighs> incredulity? I've never heard that word spoken before. I thought it was incredulity. Incredulity. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really <laughs> need to tell me you don't know who I am? The abacus is the one that you count with. The beads on a stick. And you move them left and right. I've got no idea who you are, master. Uh, of course I do. Uh, you are a famous king? A red lizard. That can mean only one thing. You are the notorious red prince. The very same. Female skeleton? No, it's a fashionable male skeleton. Geoffrey Sherman. I am the red prince. The all conqueror. The world tamer. The spouse of the sun. Of course you know me. There's a brief moment's pause during which his grandiloquent pose grandiloquent. deflates ever so slightly. That said, I suppose I must... Yeah, it's life. Hello, crap professional. ...in between all-conquering and world-taming opportunities at the moment. The grandeur that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. A very good. Uh, 
uh, travel with me. Maybe I can help you win your throne back. Truly. A kind offer indeed. And you've already proven to be trustworthy enough. You came back for the others on that ship. Metro Skeletal. <laughs> Fine. I accept. On one condition. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer, one of the mystics of my kind. Very good. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me we'll look for him, and I'll extend you the blessing of my company. I can't promise. Yeah, I promise him. He's my he's my boss. Jolly good. Before we go, uh, I'm actually a bit of an undead. Uh, by the way, no reason in particular, but how do you feel about the uh, living impaired? The undead? Like your good self, you mean? Oh! Come now, did you really think a handful of linen towels can fool me? Uh... But don't worry. I have studied the arcane arts for years, including necromancy and demonology. I do not hold the petty prejudices of common folks. In fact, I prefer the exceptional in all things. Your secret is safe with me. Oh. So, now that that's settled, first things first. Even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out goes without saying. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic, and yes, even subterfuge. Subterfuge. A fighter sounds perfect. You should trace. You should stay true to your vocation. I'm interested in someone with a little muscle. Do you have martial experience? A little finesse. Are you comfortable in the dexterous arts? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Isn't fighter and muscle kind of the same? I'm dexterous already. I'm gonna keep him as a fighter. Very well. Onwards then to victory or death. I did not expect him to be able to have different classes within some flexibility. The Red Prince nods, then gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. <laughs> now, as you're away, you'll be traveling with a prince. Proper forms of address include your majesty, your royal highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, my lord, as your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required <laughs> to carry my belongings. <laughs> of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it you'll pick up the rest as we go. So, without further ado, let us be off. Click on the party member's portrait to control them. The party member you are controlling has a golden highlight on their portrait, and I suppose the rest will follow by AI. Pull your party portraits apart to unchain them. Breaking the chain stops them from following. Oh, very intuitive, very easy. There are no classes really, it can be whatever you want to be. Right, but I did of course go three points in finesse. I see another character. I'm guessing I can't take them all. I think it's gonna be like in Baldur's Gate 3. It seems we are not the only ones taking on strays. I think it's gonna be like in Baldur's Gate 3. That when I meet other characters that could join party, I may sometimes have to make a choice, but we'll see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I never want to set foot on a stuffy old boat ever again. It's never. <laughs> Where are you going? Where, what the hell? Where is she? That was so out of pocket. That was so unnecessary. The cat's eyes are clouded and grey, but it stares at you with a I felt intensity. a little cheeky, a little mischievous, what can I say? But I didn't expect you to get away like that. Hmm. What? How did I get? Hey, stop following me. I'm not following you. You approached me. What? No. 
He's drunk. That can't be. I can't. Hey, stop following me. Huh? Yeah, fine. The cat opens his mouth as if to speak, but his eyes lose focus. There's some kind of magic that made him drunk. Can't reach. And we have no telekinesis. Interesting. Who's there? Game safe. Shot the poor kid, not the grubby I remember. I've, ki I, I've killed worse in Warcraft. Need I repeat myself? Oh shit. But I know nothing of any furthers. We already know the truth, Magister. Now speak. I am a proud lawyer to the Order. I would not dream of subverting our cause. Atusa, please. I can't fight these guys. Your Godwoken has asked you a question. Answer him. Need I repeat myself? But I know nothing of any. Hey, wait a minute. He's got a necklace. We already know the truth, Magister. Now speak. I am a proud lawyer to the Order. I would not dream of subverting our cause. Atusa, please. Your Godwoken has asked you. Five hundred health. Answer him. If if she's our enemy, Need we die. I repeat myself. But I know nothing of any verdas. We if, already know the truth, Majesty. If I approach and they're enemies, we die. So let's not approach right now. It's possible that it just sparks a dialogue that advances the story, but I'm just gonna play it safe for now. Maybe we can hunt that kid down. <laughs> no, let's see what's going on here. Let's discover more of the island first. I spotted something. Wits? Something hidden has been revealed. The higher your wits, the more likely you are to reveal traps and secrets. Okay, what did we find? Yeah, what did we find? Let's check the log. Hmm, I don't see anything. This crate, perhaps. Ah. Maybe this crate. Keep an eye out for secret passages. Revelon is full of hidden levers, pressure plates, and mysterious hatches. Try walking through the hanging vines. Oh. Hey. I wonder where this leads. Sneaky little path. Oh yes, we can in investigate his inventory. Initiative 10, initiative 11. Show party. The Red Prince is back. Oh, there we go. Firestorm grenade. So I could give him the... Uh, the cracked sword. And the shield. And uh, what is his inventory? E. Oh, there we go. Oh, what does he have now? Knife on a stick. Makeshift shield. 12, 8, 8, 6. Oh, he's got better already. Yeah, we just keep it there. Makes sense. Ooh, this is good for you. You mean to carry it? Examine. Hmm. Mallet. Ooh, a mace. Mama. 
It's very similar to the sword in terms of damage. You found an identifying glass. Oh. Unidentified items. The yeah, mallet and the uh, knife on the stick seem to be interchangeable. The squirrel's nose twitches as you approach, but the oh. creature turns away. Right. Oh, they're still talking. I have to end it first. Oh, I see. My, the giant takes notice. Ask away. She indeed. <laughs> they were still locked in conversation. Makes sense. Hey, hey, we need that. We need that chest. Oh. Psst. Go, get out. You are not welcome here. You Go, can barter Matthew. with almost all characters. Really? Not just merchants. Apologize and back away. Uh, gently raise your hand. Say you mean no she harm. Eyes you suspiciously. Please. Please just go. Some bartering perhaps? <laughs> Drag items you wish to buy or sell. Attitude five. So she kind of likes me. That's maybe it's because of the personality. She's got forty gold. A grotesque jar, earth essence. We can save one gold. Razzle dazzle grenade. Gold. Can we take your gold? Your offer insults me. You can raise the trader's attitude by gifting items or gold. Oh, I see. Uh, let's see. Shift. Improvised wand. Pocket knife. It's worth nine gold. Arrow shaft. Combine arrow shafts with special arrowheads. Oh, cool. Okay. We, we got some gold for this pocket knife. Oh. I don't think I need most of this. If you... <laughs> Wait, who said anything about taking property that isn't ours? I, I was just... I was just looking. Owners will develop a negative attitude, call the guards, or even attack you if you go too far. Party members can't follow you through dangerous surfaces or other obstacles. Clear the way they will follow you again. Looks like we can definitely go together. Warm. What's warm? Oh. Oh, cool. Wow. It's so intricate, huh? The, the status effects. Oh. There's a kid here. You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small human child holding her knees and trembling. What's wrong? Shh. The What's child wrong? quiets and seems comforted by your presence. 
She looks up at you with curious eyes. Do you need a hug? The child nods and reaches up to you. As you hold her, her breathing grows slow and calm. Her wet face is damp on your neck. Aww. She lets go and looks up at you with a small smile. Thanks. You're nice. You can have this. I found it outside, but I can't read it yet. That's next year, and then I'll learn it. She nestles <laughs> in her spot on the ground. No arrow to the face this feet. time. Weird. A little family in front I mean... of the house in the dirt. I think you should raise every kid differently. You can try the same approach with everyone, but some need a bit of a harder hand, and others, empathy and understanding and listening goes a wrong way, goes a long way. And there are witnesses. You hear me, human. Sorry. I need to get to that chest. Where was it? There it is. Under this waterfall. So if we go around and then turn to the right, can we get there? It doesn't look like it. There must be another passage. Let's see. Waterfall. There's a lot of things you can look at that should not be in your perspective, perhaps. There's a lot to explore. Fort Joy Beach. Talk to the turtle, people are happy. Can feel it? Can you feel the darkness approaching? I don't feel much of anything, not in this state. I envy you then. I feel only ice. As if my soul has been ripped open to allow a little me bit of backseating can invade. be okay if you don't guide me in every direction. Right? It's okay for me to miss secrets. But if there's something cool. It threatens to consume me. But, like, obviously, no spoilers to the story. To I fear I may be. Aww. Huh. Missed the legendary shotgun in the tutorial, Sag. <laughs> That's okay. Oh. Oh. Wait, is it really a good idea to talk to the Magisters? Hey, they cornered Diana. Gonna eat them, were you? You damn savage. They do not earn the honor. Hundred health. I have forty. I. I don't think they can be taken on. They're really strong. They do this to themselves. I warn them. I'll purge you myself, you pointy-eared witch. All right. Maybe with her help. How strong is she? A hundred. Yeah, it's 3v3. Save them before talking. I'm not a... Ah, uh, no. You're they have 200 away. life each. There's, there's no way. Maybe there's a the peaceful order. resolution.
Waypoints? Oh, cool. I feel like sneak attack might be the best. A group of magisters oh. circle an elf. They found me. Drawn. The hound barks to draw their attention. Damn it. Sir, we've got company. They saw the red lizard first. Ah, planning an ambush with this scion, were you? Yes, I was. But in my defense, I changed my mind. And I was gonna let you live. That's gotta count for something, doesn't it? I was planning an arrow between your shoulder blades. So, can we start over on the right foot without all this hostility? I'll subdue the prisoners for safe passage off the island. Ha! You're a spirited one. I'll fix that just as soon as I'm done with the witch. I tell you, I am no witch. The spores do this. If I do not find the rest. Store the elven hedge magic. <laughs> Weren't much use when we flooded your forest with oh, no. fog. Oh no, atrocity. Lucian said it was a necessary evil. Me? I was just sorry we didn't get the lot of you. You. I try to give you a chance. More than your divine order give mine. Oh, sir. Her armor. The scion twitches in sudden rage, and her armor uncoils as if made of living vines. Uh oh, it's going down, guys. No more chances. Is she stronger than it looks? Got a new I should have done a sneak attack. <laughs> Maximum physical armor increased. 54 max physical armor. You can delay your turn to the end of the round. No, I don't want to delay it. He's entangled and blinded. Wait, I should have... I should have done that differently. It missed. Holy. I thought I can get them both. Glory is mine. Uh, smash your weapon into the ground, knocking down non-allied characters in front of you. Shields up. Oh god, we're nearly dead. She's not doing too well either. You're in a tight spot. Flee if you wish. We don't have potions anymore. I could have probably used my action points first. My knees! <laughs> shields up? Where are we at with our shields? We have... Oh, I see. Full physical again. This feels more like a crowd control ability. 6 to 7 damage. Fortify. 11 physical armor. Requires Geomancer. 1 action point. Uh, that's super worth it. I'll heal. Not. A Firestorm grenade. Can I reach them? Is 
that feels worth it to help our ally from a distance. Wow. Yeah, we set the poison on fire. Yo, I was playing dead. Oh no. And now I'm dead for real. Yeah, I think we need to come here with a bigger party. Yeah, they're way too strong. I'm resurrecting him, but... With so little health. <laughs> Ouch. That looked painful. Well, at least I examined them and I did realize that it was going to be too difficult. Wow. I love a game that doesn't hold your hand and has you breeze through every part of the story, no matter which challenge. And it's just win, win, win. If I don't lose in the first five hours of a game, I think it's too easy. Love it. Of course, I picked higher difficulty as well. Is this the start of the battle? That's definitely not this game. Yeah, perfect. So we can just flee and then she'll die. So I would have to load further if I want to salvage this situation. I think even sniping them in the back wouldn't be good enough. Tactician is the only difficulty worth playing. Glad you did it. Yeah, me too. Me too. Okay. Can you feel it? Can you feel the darkness approaching? I too sense it. Does it cast a long shadow? Hey, we we'll get to do a new voice line. As it does me. My heart frosts over as if I'd been violent. Some battles I tried many, many Nothing times before winning on this difficulty. Itself. Right. Uh, just joined. Can someone summarize the story so far? Hey, who better than the streamer? <laughs> so far, we have learned about an evil witch queen that wants to hurt people. We were a set of sorcerers, magic users, on a ship with collars of imprisonment that suppresses our magic. We were on a boat headed to Fort Joy, an island kind of like Alcatraz, an island with a prison camp, which is also the island that we are now washed ashore on. Because you see, what happened is I and many of my compatriots were on that ship when a mysterious woman called, I forgot her name, Wendigo, uh, blew up the whole thing and escaped. The rest of us were left to scramble with the pieces. And when we came higher and higher in the ship, we realized a giant void woken, a kind of monstrous kraken, some elder god type of creature, was devouring the ship. We killed the magisters that didn't die on the impact of the attack, and we made our escape. We went into a little <coughs> lifeboat, and then we uh, washed ashore here. That's kind of the story so far. We're trying to find a way to get the collar off so that we can realize more full power and I shot a kid with an arrow but she survived <clears throat> it threatens to consume me it threatens let's not get hung up on that I was aiming for a rabbit okay to these turtles they're, they're transforming what the hell oh my god they're being possessed can we speak ancient 
tainted turtle. Let's pin it down. Surely it'll work. Blocked by physical armor. Yikers. We're going slowed. It needs so much action points just to move a small distance now. Because we're so slow. Can we fortify an ally? Yes, we can. But did that really work? No, it didn't. Or it did. It did, I guess. Yeah, you went from 2 to 13. Okay, excellent. This is restore shield. We don't need it. Demonic stare needs... Sor oh, resource muted. Right, okay. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> what the fuck? I guess we were standing on something. Thanks for the physical armor and the massive douchebag move. I'm assuming these scrolls aren't all that valuable. That we can just use them to aid in combat. Yo, why is everything stronger than us? Is it because we're like in terrible position? <laughs> okay, man. I hate this game. <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's good. I didn't play that tactically. I mean, I didn't know it's going to be a battle. Small party, bad positioning. Yeah. I didn't know that's going to happen. Can you feel it? Can you feel the it, it threat? Okay, 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 okay. All right. What's happening to these turtles? They're, they're now we're in a good spot. Now we're surely going to take them down. Oh, high ground damage. Excellent, right? Plus 25 damage. Pin down. Resisted by physical armor, which he does have. Alright, alright, alright. wet kiss I think now we could do it I feel like uh, this is gonna be it are they within five range of each other I think yes they're not all right cool very good. Oh. My god, his attack range is enormous.
Uh, this guy has no magic damage. So we can burn him. This time, we do not burn our skeleton. Path is interrupted. Really? Oh! It- Oh! Because he's so big! It depends where we shoot it! What a sick uh, detail. Nice crit too. It looks like he can't approach. Like he can't hit us again because he has he hasn't got cooldowns for that type of attack. Oh, we got the knockdown. Wow, nice. Sloppy kisses. Resisted. Just fine. Oh, he's coming up, but he's avoiding the fire. Oh, yeah. 300 XP. We play dead. We'll just lie down in the fire here for a bit. <laughs> well, that was very convincing. I mean, who else would lie down in the fire except a truly dead person? Back, mother trucker. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yo, am I seeing it wrong or do I have fire on every arrow I shoot? Pretty sick. Heals 10%. He should be having some of his own healing. a resurrect scroll so we're still gonna come out okay but we're gonna waste the scroll okay invalid target Oh, this is the resurrection scroll. That was healing scroll. Welcome back. Yes, by all means, let us partake in the art of conversation. Okay. That was a tough encounter, and we wasted our resurrection. I need to pick up more food with uh, the red prince but now i think we can go for a, for a sleep turtle claw critical damage poison leather pants hey there we go better pants is he wearing pants? Threadbare. Doesn't do anything. Oh, they're the same. Yeah, I'm gonna use the bedroll. 
I have this fancy box with me. Let me see, where's the bedroll? Oh, here. Okay. Very good. First night here. Don't seem like it'll be too bad. Found somewhere quiet to sleep. Brought enough dye bread to last me. When all this blows over, I'll be happy to say I survived it in comfort. A group of dumb brutes shook me down for my bread. We'll have to get smart if I want to eat. Met an old fisherman named Rad. Taught me how to make a net. Rad's gone. Dumb brutes took my net. At least the meanest one. Got took in the night, getting hungry. I always was a strong swimmer. Waters around here are pretty glassy. Can't be much more than a few miles to shore, can it? I just realized you can turn pages. For books. <laughs> Swallowed too much seawater by the looks of it. Foolish to attempt an escape by sea in these waters. I forgot all about that beautiful chest we saw earlier. And I'm not talking about Laura. To open a locked door or chest, you can find the key. And let's lockpick it. I think you can right click and read things without having to pick them up. Ah. Thievery level too low. I'll need to get clever with this lock. Can we not just destroy it? Oh, F2 is, uh, F2, F1. Yeah, see, you can just, uh, you can just destroy it, guys. You don't need to get lockpick it at all. A concise pamphlet on how to effectively combine a length of string with a stick, club, or branch in order to create a bow. Oh. Okay, that's it already. We've just uh, completed that. I think your weapons take durability damage. Oh. That's okay, bow has no durability. We found something interesting. A, an improvised staff. Grant skill of Magus. A magical missile from your staff. Now, that's probably not as good for us. That's good damage, though. Is it possible to remove the heart emoji from chat? It's in the way more often than not. Wait, what, what, what heart emoji? I heard a couple of people ask about that. I don't actually know what you're talking about. So, let me go ahead and check. Let me go what it is. Okay, so guide me through this. What heart emoji? And remember to hit live chat, not top chat. It shows from the phone on the bottom right of chat window above the send button and above text. On the bottom right of chat window, above send and above text. So I don't have it, right? 
It shows on YouTube browser. We have a heart overlay on the chat. You don't have it. What does it do, the heart overlay? Open your stream as a viewer. Like this. Oh, don't forget, you're a standard moderator for this channel. This thing? What the hell is that? That is really annoying. Who, th who thought this is a good idea? What the f... Why is it spamming emojis? Yeah, you can't even interact with it. Because people are pressing on it non-stop? No way. There's no way people are pressing on this non-stop. No, I, I think what it does... No, I have 300 viewers right now. There's no way people are spamming it. It's me, I spammed it. <laughs> okay, anyway, I will try to find out next time how to remove that. I have, presently, I don't know. Sorry you're dealing with that. I'm still level two. He's level two. He's constitution and strength. I see it on every YouTube live. So it's just like a dumb thing that they added. I can't go here yet because I can't defeat them. I need to go somewhere else. Somewhere else first. Do you think she likes Where this a little bit more? You go with us. Who are you? Are you from the shelter? She says nothing of another. Fire alas! She is so late. She sent me to collect all of the group's valuables. She needs every last piece of gold. The elf looks at you sideways, as though sizing you up. Her features tighten into an angry frown before suddenly collapsing in defeat. I fear this happens. Are you going to play Baldur's Gate 3? Yes. Yes, place. I am. I save a reserve just in case. Here. Tell Magister Ratuza it is the last we have. <laughs> Thank you. Tell I'll, her we wait. I'll deliver it. Tell her she is our last hope to leave this place. If I say this, she'll know that we're up to no good. How much gold did we just get? Is it this one? 45 gold. So, what next? Nothing at all is... Oh, the purple pouch. Oh, right. <laughs> Too easy. Yeah, let's find more adventures. I'm pretty sure we can do that boat combat if we have more people. What's this then? Ping? Waypoint travel. Okay, the castle is too hard. I must have missed going somewhere. What's here then? Can't reach. I see some. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, what the hell? Why did we get knocked down? Trying to get up to get knocked down. <laughs> A sharp rock. I don't feel like there's much left here, but... You've discovered a waypoint. Oh. So we are here for the first time. The old king, Bracchus, watches the horizon. The old king responds. He okay, good. Oh, there's someone here. The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you, and his arms snap to his sides. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Many people are strange, but can you truly say one is stranger than another? <laughs> I'm stranger than I look, I assure you. Uh, don't worry, you can trust me. Why? Everyone's got to stick to their own kind now that the world has become so dangerous. Well, the people who put me here are human, and the people who took my parents away are human too. What do you mean because I'm a. Are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. Do I look like a sorcerer? The child looks at you straight on, unafraid. Searching the shadows cloaking your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. I don't see any source on you or me. I guess they're wrong or crazy. Maybe they're wrong and crazy. <laughs> Maybe you're right. At least they don't mind where anyone goes. They know we can't leave the island, but it's a lot nicer out here than inside. Your parents know where you are. They're gone now. The Magisters took them already. I guess now they're cured. And maybe they're waiting it, for me It's back not at home. safe here. But you didn't die. Why don't you seem scared? I guess I am. But it's just normal to be scared. Nowhere isn't scary. We only narrowly survived. There isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. You'll see. You can stay out here with me. Hey, what are you doing? You can stay out here with me if you want. You don't see that. Can scary. I have your clothing, please? I've got some wonderful shells for you here. I've got one shell for your clothing, please. No? Oh, he doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> Jesus. Tough bargain. Well, we could always kill him later. So far, I don't feel like he deserves it. Just because he doesn't want to give me his clothing. Okay, I think I have to go to the palace and just hope that it won't be a fight. I don't see any other way forward. Which was here. I call it a palace, but it's really just. That's probably the way they expect you to go forward. Let's, let's go then. Let's uh, make a safe. I stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our godwoken speaks. After all, they don't want to kill all of us. 
They just want to mute us. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. This is injustice at best and base cruelty at worst. Whether she's telling truth or lies, you won't find out by mutilating her. If you wanted to keep a lot of your majesties in check at once, this spectacle would be the way to do it. Only the gods are fit to take back what they have given. Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. She did Drops it to herself? against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Why would she do it to herself? Oh, maybe he's... Wait, what the hell? Stop. My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think she would lie to his only son. Why did she do it to herself? Your friend these many years. They commanded her to do it to herself, right. The fate of our realm hangs So they the ignored balance. me. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, your holiness. I believe we're done here. So evil. Uh, but why kill her? Will be needed elsewhere. Why kill her? She had no tongue already. Wait. Saw him, didn't you? The hammer and Alexander. <coughs> they gave that scaly traitor what for they did. It did say quietly muse. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Very quiet. Peace is more than she deserves. <coughs> she were a traitor to the core. Oh, five quick save. All right, that concludes play session number two, episode two. It's uh, it's two. It's time to head off with my stream and continue next time. Lovely game. Really enjoyed it again. Uh, stay tuned for episode three, which will be either on YouTube live stream or on Twitch live stream. Thanks for uh, tuning in today to the YouTube stream. Tomorrow I'll be live on Twitch again. I'll see you guys next. We also won a bunch of Dota games today, so that's nice. And we played some Warcraft. Have a great night, guys. And see you next. Peace. Oh, the heart emoji is called reactions. Okay. I know how to turn that off. Thanks for becoming a member, Beans. Beans950 became. I know how to turn that off. I have an option in my thing that says. Uh, Loop Monkey became a member. Oh, I see. I didn't have alerts in my divinity scene, so it delayed them until I went to a scene that does have it. Solved now. Fixed. Uh, so next time there won't be the little heart emoji. I can turn that off. Good night.